The Royal Navy is set to introduce the Type 32 frigate as part of its long-term strategy to enhance the United Kingdom's maritime capabilities. Announced by Prime Minister Boris Johnson in November 2020 as a key component of the integrated review, the Type 32 represents a forward-thinking approach to modern naval warfare. This new class of warship is designed to expand the Royal Navy's surface escort fleet while offering versatile and advanced capabilities to address the evolving challenges of the 21st century. The Type 32 frigate is being developed to fulfill a range of missions, combining the traditional duties of a frigate with the advanced technological tools required for contemporary naval operations. Its design focuses on flexibility, allowing it to take on a wide array of roles, from anti-piracy operations to maritime security, humanitarian assistance, and joint exercises with NATO allies. One of the most defining features of the Type 32 is its ability to operate as a platform for autonomous systems. Equipped to deploy drones and unmanned vessels, the frigate will be able to extend the Royal Navy's operational reach, improve situational awareness, and conduct complex operations without the need for direct human intervention. This capability will allow the Navy to tackle emerging threats in a more efficient and effective manner, all while safeguarding critical sea lanes and protecting global trade. Another important objective of the Type 32 frigates is to bolster the Royal Navy's Littoral Response Groups (LRGs) which are forward deployed in strategically important regions. These groups are essential for maintaining a constant presence in key maritime areas and ensuring the security of international trade routes. By adding Type 32 frigates to its fleet, the Royal Navy aims to enhance its ability to respond to regional crises, such as piracy, smuggling, and other maritime security threats, while simultaneously promoting the security of allied interests. The flexibility of the Type 32's design means that it can adapt to various mission types and operational environments, ensuring its relevance in an increasingly unpredictable world. Whether operating in the Indo-Pacific region to strengthen Britain's influence or working with NATO forces in the North Atlantic, the Type 32 will be integral to the UK's broader global strategy. The Type 32 frigate is also poised to serve as a testbed for next-generation naval technologies. Its modular design will allow for the integration of cutting-edge systems as they become available, such as directed energy weapons, advanced radar technologies, and artificial intelligence-driven operational tools. This adaptability will ensure that the Royal Navy stays ahead of emerging threats, including hypersonic missiles, cyber warfare, and asymmetrical tactics. Furthermore, the introduction of the Type 32 will contribute to the Royal Navy's long-term goal of expanding its escort fleet. By the 2030s, the fleet will grow from 19 to 24 vessels, improving the balance between specialized high-end platforms, such as the Type 26 frigate for anti-submarine warfare, and general-purpose vessels like the Type 31 and Type 32 frigates. Despite the promising capabilities of the Type 32, the program faces several challenges. One of the most significant concerns raised by defense analysts is the affordability of the project. Initial cost estimates have raised questions about whether the Royal Navy can fund the Type 32 without compromising other high-profile programs, such as the Dreadnought-class submarines and the Type 26 frigates. The National Audit Office has already pointed out potential delays and the need for adjustments to align with the fiscal constraints. The Type 32's affordability will be a key factor in its success. Industry leaders will need to strike a balance between capability and cost-effectiveness to ensure that the project remains viable within the broader context of the UK's defence budget. The decision to proceed with the Type 32 will depend on how well the government can manage these competing priorities, and whether it can secure the necessary resources without undermining other essential programmes. The Royal Navy's investment in the Type 32 frigate aligns with broader global trends in naval modernization. The U.S. Navy's Constellation-class frigates and France's FDI-class frigates are similar initiatives that highlight the growing interest in multi-role platforms capable of integrating new technologies. As naval powers around the world seek to future-proof their fleets, the Type 32 stands at the forefront of this development, with its emphasis on unmanned systems and modularity positioning it as a next-generation vessel. By focusing on the integration of innovative technologies and flexible mission capabilities, the Royal Navy aims to ensure its surface fleet remains ready to face emerging maritime threats. The Type 32 frigate represents the Navy's commitment to maintaining a competitive edge in the global maritime landscape, while supporting the UK's strategic goals and securing its interests on the world stage. The Type 32 frigate is a vital element of the Royal Navy's future vision, offering a blend of advanced technology, flexibility, and global strategic influence. Designed to tackle both traditional and modern maritime challenges, it will help the UK maintain a strong naval presence in key regions, 
while supporting allied operations and responding to emerging threats. However, the success of the program will depend on the ability to address affordability concerns and secure funding in a competitive defense environment. If realized, the Type 32 will be a crucial asset to the Royal Navy, ensuring it remains a leading maritime power in an increasingly complex and uncertain world. Thank you.